Lisa, how has this past year been for you from a, well, first and foremost, creative perspective? Oh, I, do, I, I mean, I wouldn't say it's been the most creative, um, but that's kind of baby adjusted terms more than pandemic adjusted terms. Um, but you know, I'm just doing what I can and taking it along and I, do, I, do, I don't have the lockdown record that everybody else is gonna have at the end of it, I don't think. I think that's comforting for some people, to be honest. It's so easy to think that you're the only one not coping or not being productive and stuff. So I think it's yeah. good for people to hear. Well, I'm just kind of, yeah, getting on doing, doing what I can and hopefully, you know, hopefully plowing some fields and making them productive for future times, <laughs> you yeah. know, but I don't feel particularly productive at the moment. <laughs> Um, if we could like wave a magic wand and this was all over and everyone was safe, um, would you be going back on the road now or what, what would you be looking forward to the most? Oh, I would love that. I would love to go to a gig. I'd love to sit at a gig. That's the, that's the state of life I'm at now. I'd like to sit at a gig um, with a pint and just watch some live music. It would be amazing. And then to do a gig. D is there something that you've noticed more so now that that all has been very unceremoniously taken away from us that, that you didn't really appreciate beforehand that maybe you've got a further appreciation for now? I think it's, for a musician, it just feels like part of the rhythm of your life, you know, the, like the seasonality of it, where you're writing and then you're, you're out touring. And it's like we've just missed that whole harvest period, you know? Um, and it's kind of nourishing, I think, touring. You know, it kind of fills you up to go and write songs. and. Yeah, it's hard. You just feel like we've missed out on, on that part of the cycle for, for a year. But yeah, hopefully we'll get there again soon. And, and, and I'm sure it'll just feel just the same, if, you know, if not more exciting. Um, you're on a stamp. <laughs> I mean, tell us how this feels. It's so bizarre and surreal and strange and absolutely the most exciting honour ever. It's amazing. And it's, they're beautiful. All of them are beautiful. And it's so exciting to be among such company. Um, and for me, you know, it took me so many years to feel comfortable with even being called a songwriter. But to be, um, to be on the stamp as a songwriter is, is like, is really special. And it, you know, it, it took me a lot of years to get the confidence to even say that. So that, that's, it's, there's a leap from there to here. For sure. It is a giant honour because it's our kind of form of like other countries have them in in other ways of honouring art and artists and things. But this, I would think this is one of the highest ways of us honouring an artist. Yeah, I've never, I've never seen any, anything like it, to be honest. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> well, it's beautiful. Um, it's amazing. This is so surreal being in the GPO, watching you, watching Christy Moore. Um, I'm so delighted to be here and just, I'm so glad you're being honoured in this way. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very exciting. <laughs>